What's going on everybody? Al here. Back with another fragrance review. That's right, another fragrance review. I enjoy doing fragrance reviews. I enjoy talking about fragrances for all you out there. Sharing my two cents on a particular fragrance. The one I have today I'm excited to do. It will be, the fragrance I'm going to talk about today will be on Street Sense real soon. Well, I apologize for not putting out as many Street Sense videos as I wish I could have the past few weeks. It's been really cold outside. So it's hard to stop someone to talk about a fragrance, let alone talk about anything. Nobody wants to stop when it's freezing outside. They just want to go to where they have to be. They don't want to talk about nothing. So it's not easy. I tried and I failed. So I failed in the sense of stopping anybody in the cold weather. I was cold myself. So I said, you know what? Let's take a break and let's wait till it gets a little warmer out there and then we'll, you know, just come out with that many more tree sand videos. And the fragrance I have today is from the House of Prada. New release from Prada, Luna Rosa from Prada. I can't wait to get this fragrance on Street Sense. Look out for that real soon. Prada Luna Rosa, new release 2012-2013. Before I get started with this, I wanted to say I have a new webcam. Someone was nice enough to send me a, a webcam for free. Here's the webcam right here, HD webcam. I'm going to get this going real soon. Let me give a big shout out to AKA Godsent. YouTube username AKA Godsent was nice, nice enough to send me this HD webcam. I'm going to get this going real soon so my reviews will be in HD. I apologize for the quality of this video. I know it's not like my Street Sand video is HD. And it's the sound probably not, is not as good as, it's not as good as either as my Street Sand videos. But real soon this webcam will be up and you'll see I'll be in HD. So big shout out to you, aka Godsend. Thanks a lot for the webcam. I got it. You know I got it. And I'm going to upload the software and get it going real soon. Alright, so I want to get that out of the way. Let's get with the review. Prada Luna Rosa. Here's the bottle. Real cool bottle. Has like a metal thing going around. Kind of, I guess they wanted to make it kind of resemble like a sailboat. Because the theme behind the fragrance is sailing. Uh, Luna Rosa is named after the sailboat, the sail sailing team, Red Moon. Luna Rosa means Red Moon. And the whole concept behind the fragrance, the commercials, the sailing, the sailboat, the marine, I guess a marine vibe, and the victorious, just being vi having victory. So that's the whole theme behind this fragrance. The cap, it's not, it's not really that cool, the cap. The bottle's cool, the cap is just like a cheap plastic. It says remove before use. So take the plastic off cheap plastic, just throw it to the side. Okay, there's the bottle. Nice bottle. Let's look at the box. The box, plain box, nothing special. Silver, it says red Prada right there, kind of embossed. Luna Rosa down there. You have your serial number on the bottom that matches the serial number on the back right here, etched in the bottle to show you that it's legit. Okay, now we saw the bottle and the box. Let's get into the main part of this video. What does it smell like? What does Luna Rosa smell like to me? Okay, Luna Rosa opens up. Put on your skin, you're gonna get citrus. A blast of citrus, bitter orange. That's what you're gonna get for a few seconds. Then you're gonna get the main character, the main guy, the fragrance to join the citrus. It's gonna be lavender. Lavender and citrus in the opening. That's what you're gonna get for a few minutes then you're going to get another guy to join the party and that's going to be mint. Mint, lavender, citrus. Citrus is going to kind of go to the background and you're going to have a minty lavender thing going on. When you get into the harder fragrance, after I would say about a good 20 minutes, when you get to the harder fragrance, you're still going to have the mint lavender and you're going to have something join that as well. And it's going to be the DNA of Prada. When I say DNA of Prada, they have two releases. They have Prada and Reporto and Infusion Dome. Those two fragrances have that DNA, a similarity in them. That's what you're going to get out of this fragrance also. The DNA of Prada. It's going to come and join the lavender and the mint. When I say the DNA of Prada, I'm saying you're going to get a soapy, clean powder feel. It's going to be soapy, clean powder to go with the lavender and the mint. That's what you're going to get. And the citrus is still going to be lingering in the background. So that's what you're going to get in the heart, and that's going to take you to a dry down where the musk is going to join the party. Citrus in the background, the mint is going to kind of go in the background, so it's still going to be there. And so is the DNA of Prada, it's going to kind of go in the background, and the lavender is going to be there with and some nice smooth musk. 
to give you the dry down. It's a nice fragrance, so we'll all know. It's sporty with the citrus, which is in the background, the mint. Yeah, it's, does it have a marine vibe? I don't really get a marine vibe. I don't know where the marine comes from. Like you think marine, you think like not not lavender. Lavender is more like to me is more relaxing and therapeutical. It's more like aromatherapy when you think of lavender. Do I get a marine vibe out of this fragrance? No, I don't. But it is a good fragrance. It reminds me of Infusion Dome. You can say Infusion Dome Sport, I guess. They could have called this. Luna Rosa, I don't know. I mean, I don't know why they call it that. They wanted to go with the sale, or anything. You could call it Prada Infusion Dome Sport, if you, if you ask me. Because it does smell like Infusion Dome when you get into the heart. It's there. The Infusion Dome, that powder soap is there. But the lavender is there as well with the mints. Now, what does it remind me of this fragrance? One of the fragrances why do I think about? You could say Cartier Roadster because of the mint, but not as powerful as Roadster. Roadster is like a smack you in the face mint. This is more toned down. But I can see a little comparison to Cartier Roadster. Of course, Infusion Dome, Jean Paul Gaultier's Le Mans because of the lavender. Those are a couple of fragrances that I'm going to say that I can compare this to. So that's what this fragrance smells like. I'm going to say the DNA, the Infusion Dome with the mint, the lavender, a little bit of citrus in the background, some musks in there. Not a bad fragrance. Definitely not a bad fragrance. Now, let's go into projection and longevity. Projection and longevity. I'm going to say this fragrance gave me three hours. It projected for three hours and lasted for a good eight hours on my skin. Now, let me mind you, it's cool outside. I got this fragrance a few weeks ago and it's cool outside. I've been wearing it in cooler weather. Occasion and season is another category. The season for this fragrance, I'm going to say spring and summer. I'm wearing it in the winter. I think it'll perform better. So three hours for projection and eight hours for longevity is based off me wearing it in the winter. If I was to wear it in the summer, I think it'll, it would do better. Fragrances tend to do better when it's hot, hotter outside, when it's warmer outside. Hotter, warmer. So I got three hours, let's say three hours, let's say four hours maybe when it's warm outside, eight hours, eight, nine hours, maybe more. The old Jungle I thought was really good. So season for this, spring, summer. I can't really see you wearing this winter. It's more, to me, it's more of a warm weather fragrance. Let me show you guys real quick. I had a bunch of samples. I've been wearing samples also. See, I have some samples here. I had a, few, a lot more. I was wearing samples and I was actually wearing the bottles, so just get a good feel for it. So season, spring, summer, projection, three, four hours, depends on the, how it is outside. Longevity, eight hours, eight, eight hours plus. Occasion, I'm going to say to hang out. It's a great hangout fragrance. You know, if you're going to go hang out with your friends, not a bad fragrance. Date, is it a date scent? I'm going to say, nah, there's other fragrances out there that you can wear more, more appealing for a date. This is more of a hangout kind of scent. Not really clubbing, not really a date. Just like you're going to hang out with your friends, you're going to go out, or on a warm day, you're going to go do some stuff. Throw this on. How many sprays? How many sprays to wear with this fragrance? I'm going to say four. One on each pulse point. One on the front of your neck over here, so you can, you know, get some front action going. And spray your shirt, or spray on your chest, and then put your shirt on, so your, your, your clothes has it on you. Fragrances tend to project and last better when they're on your clothes. So spray your chest, and then put your shirt on, you'll have it there. So I enjoy wearing fragrances on my clothes because it, it, it lasts longer, it just does it, it performs better. So spray your chest, both pulse point, front of your neck, and you're set. Four sprays. Size and price comes in two sizes standard size 50 ml, 1.7 ounce, 100 ml, 3.4 ounce. It goes anywhere from 60 to 80 dollars. Not bad for a designer scent. I mean, it is a little pricey, but it's not that, it's not crazy. You probably find it a little cheaper. Depends on where you get it from. It does come in a shower gel, uh, 200 ml, 6.8 ounce. That goes for like about 30 bucks. And my overall score for this fragrance, I'm gonna say a good 8.5. I enjoy it. I'm gonna wear it more. I'm gonna give it an 8.5. I do enjoy Prada Infusion Dome a lot. I enjoy all the Prada fragrances. I'm a fan of Prada. They did a pretty good job with this. This right here, Prada Luna Rosa. One more thing, age. I'm going to say any age for this fragrance. Any age can pull this off. There's no age for this. An old guy can wear it, an older guy, high school. I could see a high school kid wearing this. I could see a 20, 25. Just any age can wear this. You're going to hang out, warm outside, you're going to go hang out with your friends, you're going to go do some things. Throw this on. It's not a bad scent at all. Prada Luna Rosa. Like I said, the mint, 
lavender, real nice lavender, too, real smooth lavender in this fragrance. The lavender is the main character of this fragrance. And you get that mint, you get the citrus in the background, the, the DNA of Prada Infusion Dome to go with some musk. That's what you're going to get as fragrance. Like you came out of the shower, you're feeling fresh, it's uh, like a lavender, some lavender in the air with some fresh mint, that's what you're going to get out of this fragrance. When you think of lavender, you think of aromatherapy, like incense and oils and stuff. They make you feel good. This fragrance does make you feel good. It's been making me feel good when I wore it these last few days. And I've been wearing it like day and night. Day and night. I even slept with it just to get a great feel for it. I wish it was warmer out. I don't know why they release these kind of fragrances in the winter when it's cooler out. It doesn't make no sense. Hey, but that's, that's product for you. That's the fragrance companies for you. They just they release what they want to release. I've seen uh, straight up citrus based fragrances, like straight up summer fragrances being released in the heart of the winter in the past and it doesn't make no sense to me, but that's me. So anyway, that's my take on Prada Luna Rosa. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, send me a message. Look out for the Street Sense Prada Luna Rosa. It's going to be coming real soon. I might even do two of them. You know, I'm going to start doing two, two videos per fragrance. I want to get two different people's takes on the same fragrance. So that's something new I'll be doing. Two videos per fragrance. Two different people. See what happens. Something all new. And I have a bunch of other things lined up. I'm working on a lot of things. So I'm excited to release the information real soon about what I'm working on. I'll let you guys know what's, what, what that is real soon. Anyways, before I go on and on, that's my take on Prada Ro Luna Rosa. I hope you guys liked it once again. If you have anything you want to tell me, send me a message, comment down below, rate, comment, subscribe. Look out for more Street Sand videos, more reviews coming in HD real soon. On that note, I'll see you guys later.